Hello everyone and welcome to PGP Motorsports Park on this bright and brilliant sunny day for the weekend of the third summer league race. We're here for the last chance qualifying session where in the previous two heats these people did not make it into the top 10. Instead, they finished outside of that, and now this is their last chance to possibly score points in this last chance qualifying. Only the top four will progress, so we will be looking at the top four as they try to desperately hold on to their positions to make it in and score points for the season. And we'll also be looking at the people shortly behind them trying to desperately claw their way in and get the points that they feel they deserve. So they slow down, they get gridded up as they go around turn three into turn two. Slowing down nice and easy to allow the people behind to catch up as we get ready for our rolling start. If you're unfamiliar, green flag means go once that starts waving. So around turn one they go as we go, as this race is in the reverse directions. So I'll be counting down as they go around the corners. Across the finish line, they will be going, and let's pan over to the person with the flag as he's raised it up. The flag's waved, and they're a wave as already people are scrambling for position, making it three, possibly even four wide as they go through a roller coaster. Will they survive? Oh no, there's already a mess. Someone's taking a rally cross line. Is that a shortcut? Do they just try to shortcut? There's so much dirt all over the place. Low visibility. Oh, someone's really quite slow coming out of that. I'm not sure how that's going to be looked into. There might be a black flag waved because I'm not sure if that person just gained positions by skipping the entire corner. I've honestly, oh, another incident happens right in front of my eyes. How did I not see that? Oh, right in between them. That's so dangerous as they go through. They're very lucky to have avoided all that. Maybe that's the race over, but something to note, this is 20 minutes of this last chance qualifying. Just because you spun early doesn't mean you might be out, but already the vicious racing continues as two wide through the two through this pretty fast chicane as they prepare to go into the straight. What positions will be gained? Possibly two wide through there. Looking to get some positions. Uh, the scoreboard in the top left is not going to be updated until they cross the line here. So, as they cross the line, we will see where the positions have fallen and who are in the top four. Across the line they go, oh, someone's been pushed way off the track. Are they five, four wide, two by two? They split apart, up in the leaves. Wayne Ketch and Stephen Croft Davidson Man and Michael Morelli. These are the people in the top four, followed shortly by Kun Yao, Mohamed Harb, Alexander, William, Aiden, and Baron. As they go through, light bulb into top of the world. I didn't see if there were any position changes through there. But now, most of the chaos should be sorted through. We have a nice pack of five following the leader as they go through this very nice looking chicane. I like to think of this chicane like a, a Monaco chicane. It'll be uh, exciting to see it return uh, next week when they go in the forwards direction because then it will actually look like that camera angle. But in the meantime, we get that nice one is uh, they take their carts to the edge of their grip going around the corners. That's a little wide from the leader going through there. Maybe he saw him in the corner of his eyes and he didn't want to get spun out off the, uh, across the front of him. Now here they are across the line for the third time. This is a timed race. Uh, the lap count isn't really a factor here as they go through roller coaster and then the double apex shortly after. Then through light bulb they go up into top of the world. It looks like some cheeky moves might be made. Light bulb is a very oh, someone's wide and off the track. Their race has been a little bit shortened. Is that a safe rejoin? Uh, a little bit, yeah as uh, he goes through top of the world. His tires are going to be dirty for a little bit. going to have a little less grip. 
So that's just gonna put a damper in his effort to try to get into this pack up here. The top six, nose to tail, going through this corner. They all keep it straight because they all just want maximum advantage through there. Anyone have enough of a slipstream to possibly make any moves? No, they're all gonna keep it safe as they round around as they go around to turn three. And possibly some moves there. No, they keep it consistent through turn two, just trying to get as much as they can. And then into the main straight where we're gonna get another helping of slipstream to possibly make some moves happen. Because if you're the last two back here, you're wanting to overtake. You need to overtake the persons in front of you in order to get in to the top three. Looks like there might be some shakeups. No, in the top six we have Steven Davidson, Wayne, Michael, Kuhn, and Mohamed Harb. Racing as fast as they can. What are the lap times around here in the last chance qualifying? Looks like 80.4. So we haven't gotten into like the 79s yet for the for these top people. Uh, which is what it was. In fact, in the first qualifying session, uh, we were seeing the top six had lap times of 78 second lap times. So they really need to pick up their race pace if they want to even further make up positions in the final. Because 79, 78 is the standard on a nice hot day like this, with the slick tires getting all sticky and ready to grip up on the track. Around turn three they go. No change in positions for the top six. Although four and three seem to be really close together. Possibly some bump drafting action could be going on. So that way they can possibly further secure their position by being further up in the top four instead of being the fourth person that they want to overtake. And yeah, we are seeing that bump drafting action going on from third into second. As they just try to expand their lead and separate themselves too wide and overtake is looks to be attempted to be done on uh, Manny Hernandez, and it works. He goes around the outside to get that position. Brilliant move, although it's not quite there. That only puts him in eighth place. He has four more positions to go if he wants to make it into the last chance qualifying. A little bit of two wide action in uh, light bulb as we prepare to see the top six through turn sevens and six, and then Five and four, very important corners, as it's required for the setup into the long, into the second straight, a very long straight, the back straight of this circuit. We've spreading out a little bit, no one offering the bump draft assistance between the five behind first. First looks to be running away a little bit now that he appears to be out of slipstream range, rounding around turn two. The gap between second and third is closing. Could we be seeing an overtake attempt? No, it winds up as they go around turn one. Different lines going through turn one. He's ducking his head down is Davidson Mann. Who ducking his head down is Davidson Mann, who was very disappointed in his heat race. Uh, spun out early on. Oh, someone's stuck on the inside going through there. Is someone going to get pushed off? No, they keep it clean. They leave the space. That's always good to see. Uh, through light bulb they go. But, oh, someone's off the track uh, near top of the world. That's a common spot. I've fallen off there in one of my earlier videos. Uh, I made an amateur mistake and took too much speed into the corner and uh, I fell off through there. It's quite bumpy through there. And as I said before, you have to worry about the dirt on your tires uh, slowing up your grip. But it looks like there's a new player that's looking to join in 7th place, catching up to the pack. Will he be eating his way through them? I'm curious as to what 7th place lap times are. 7th place, William Frazier. With the 79.5, so quite fast. Oh, sorry, the camera was looking in the completely wrong direction. I was uh, looking at the laptop to see what the lap times were. But William seems to be sort of the fastest lap. The Davidson man, uh, who spun out early in the heat race, is, seems to be in a very comfortable position in second place. As the battle kicks off, he's over the curb. Will he survive that? He loses a lot of speed and drops down into fifth place. Not sure who that is. 
but that is quite the mistake. It's very dangerous to go for overtakes because if it doesn't work out, you just lose a lot of speed. Uh, part of the technique in overtakes that I've seen is just putting your cart in front of the other cart so that way they're forced to bump you to give the momentum back that you lost. Um, at least that's what I've seen in Pro-Am. And that might be a technique that someone's trying to employ there, but he wasn't able to hold it through. Bouncing over the curbs and getting quite upset through a roller coaster. Could have risked his uh, spot, although he is in fifth, which is not quite in the qualifying spot. It could have completely ruined his chances to take that fourth spot, which is really close to him right now. Second and third, still quite close together. Oh, and third and fourth, getting close together through there. As they cross the line again, going through. Are we gonna see anyone pull out? I don't see anyone making contact for the bump drafts. They're pretty close, but not that close. And they keep it single file through there, not wanting to repeat that mistake. Not wanting to attempt overtakes through there. Now what racing can we see back here? Yep. Everyone going single file, just trying to figure out their pace and get through as the leaders go through light bulb and into top of the world. The most complex corners on this track because they just close and open in such scary ways and you're just brought to the very end of the track where if you push it just a little bit far, uh, too far, you'll end up driving off the track like we've seen two people do already in this last chance qualifying. Davidson Mann still in second. Leader of the pack. Oh, Davidson Man. The leader of the pack makes a mistake and Davidson Man capitalizes and they're going three, four wide. What is going on over there? Who lost all that speed? I am very curious to see what the leaderboards look like, but everything's really kicked off as we see three wide going into turn two, but the momentum is not there to maintain that. So we just have two and one wide. It's just a whole glob of cars just vying for whatever positions as the line is broken up. People are no longer on racing lines. It's just a free-for-all out there. How is this shaken up? Davidson Mann takes the lead with Michael Morelli in second, Stephen Cock in third, and Mohamed Harb in fourth. The top four that we had before, no longer the same. It has been quite shuffled. Now we see packs of two, two, and three. The person in seventh has caught up. William Frazier who has been showing some good pace, as you see, on the best lap times. Everyone's now up to their pace a little bit. Their, their tires are warmed up. Um, everyone's in the line. They're all slipstreaming. They're learning from each other. And the lap times have been brought down to 79s, uh, mid-79s. So that is a pretty good lap time, and we could see the top four be very competitive in the final. Davidson Mann, in the last two races, has made it into the final. And, not coincidentally so, because in the previ previous season, he was not pro. Very good racer out there, very fast lap times. And, with that racecraft under his belt, when the chaos happened, he was able to take advantage and make it into first. Actually, no longer in first, he's fallen into second, overtaken by Michael Morelli, another representative from Pro. Too wide the roller coaster from the back there. He backs off into seventh. Because it is too risky to go too wide through there. Through that very fast chicane with all the elevation changes. Because that's effectively what it is. It's a super fast chicane with massive elevation changes that could potentially upset your cart. If there's even a little bit of contact, you could get sent into the center, as we saw at the beginning of the race. And then I guess, also at the beginning of the race, we saw someone take a shortcut. Not sure who that was. They probably gave the position flag, or they didn't lose anything. Maybe they were already up front, they were shoved off. Who knows, we see a yellow flag being waved. Why is the yellow flag waved? Is there a hazard on the track? Unknown, but they're told to be kept cautious. Oh, track workers were on the track fixing something, so that's why the yellow flag was being overtaken, uh, was being flown. 
Uh, they're probably possibly retrieving something from the track. But back to the racing, as the top two are really close together. In fact, Davidson Man, not going for the overtake, but bump drafting. So that way he's away, further away from the people behind. Now, this top six. Actually, cor uh, correction, top seven have uh, been very competitive. They are so far away from the last pack of four that holds Manny Hernandez and others. But Davidson Mann and Michael Morelli are looking to work together to get as far away as they can from the people behind. And it looks like it's working as they're already several part lengths away as they go through turns five and four. And we might even see some more of that. Looks like the yellow flag still being waved as they go through. The hazard is possibly still out there. No overtakes through here are allowed as that yellow flag is waved. Maybe there's some dirt on the track and they're cleaning it up? Unknown, but I'll have to, uh, I'll have to ask about that. It's 16 minutes into the race. Four minutes left to go. As they round out the double apex. light bulb on top of the world. Round turns five and four. The top seven go. No bump drafting, no overtaking attempts. Actually, no. Davidson Man still bump drafting up ahead, but personally, Michael's cart must be pretty slow because they've caught up a lot in that back straight there. Davidson might be looking to pass. Should probably look to pass because that gap shortened a lot in that straight. Maybe Michael didn't take turn four as well as possible, but here we go into the final lap of the race. The gloves should come off here. As already, we see a potential two-wide attempt through here. The top four, not yet secure in their spot in the final, because five, six, and seven are looking to take it from them. Around light bulb they go. They should be putting the pressure on. We see some different lines through there. I think I see a potential two-wide possible overtake there for third place. To or maybe it was just different lines through there. But top two seem to be running away. Third and fourth, really at risk here. Especially fourth, as fifth place closes up real close on him, from my perspective, up on the tower. Three drivers, really close to being knocked out. They only have three corners to go, three, two, one, before they're eliminated and will not have a chance, opportunity will not have any additional points out to the final. Oh, but last minute overtake, someone's fourth place is super wide, and fifth place is able to claim it back, but he's around on the outside, it's really close, and who gets it? Mohammed and Davidson Man. The Davidson Man fell down that far in those last two corners. All these people crossing the line now are definitely eliminated. But Davidson Man barely qualifies after being in first and into second for so long. What happened there? I didn't see him drop down. Things really got chaotic in that last lap. But as people get out and get ready to take their carts, I will see you in the next video for the final race of the third league race in the summer series where we'll see points, we'll see podiums, and we'll see action.
Thank you everybody for watching. Goodbye.